Welcome to the challenge between Ocular and Evans, and as always, it doesn't make any sense whatsoever to try to say what program is best because it's always a it's best for whom exactly. But what I'm going to do is ask on Twitter, I did this months ago at this point, what makes a PDF reader a good PDF reader and then give one point to either of the programs depending on if what program is able to make that particular person happy. That doesn't mean it's better, it's just a way to try to do a comparison between the two, which I think is helpful. So let's start with the first one, which is the most important thing is to have annotation and highlighting functionalities. So let's try that out immediately. Let's open a couple of files. Okay, let's try to highlight some text. Uh, in ocular case, we have immediately this yellow highlighter button. So I think this should work out of the box nicely. Here we've got an edit button with highlight text and that also works super nicely. In ocular, you can also select here like other types of uh, annotations. You do also have annotation tools which you can use to actually like write on the document, which is the annotate part. In here, as far as I understood this, you only have note text, which is helpful, but uh, in my opinion, not quite what annotation means. So I think in your ocular slightly wins, but let's see the second part of the tweet. Being able to add a signature from an image, I guess, and having the ability to copy text from the PDF directly is also super important. So let's try immediately to co copy some text. In here it's, whoops, I need to exit this mode. We've got text selection in here, we select, we copy, and this is it. In here, it should also work nicely just by selecting text. Let's see if it took it. It did, so selecting text, super easy. But can we actually add a signature though? I mean, in here you can technically sign just using this uh, mark, uh, which you can select to be black if you prefer. Can you actually add an image on top of this? I don't think so, but let's try. We'd like to embed an image. Let's just try, I don't know, drag and dropping. Uh, nope, doesn't work here, surely. And here it doesn't work either. Nope, I don't see any such thing. You probably need like Cernal++, plus plus, which does that. But for now, I think that Ocular kind of wins this one thanks to the ability to actually annotate and actually sign because I have used Ocular to sign something just using the ability to actually draw. I have a drawing tablet and it works nicely on Ocular. So on Ocular, you can actually uh, sign. In here, we've got annotation, highlights, we've seen that. Making notes. We've done this here. We can also do this here in a similar fashion. So it works in both. A decent dark mode. And with dark mode, I'm only going to count the dark mode that actually darkens the PDF itself. That, that's what dark mode is to me. In MVNs, you do actually have this here and it's super nice. I've actually used a lot this feature when studying. Makes my eye rest a bit. In Ocular, I have never found such a feature. Now, actually, here it is. It's just super hidden. Accessibility, change colors, invert colors. That should do the trick. Technically works. Practically, it's very hidden. So Evans is currently winning on this one. Also rather hard to actually turn off and on depending on the actual PDF you're viewing. Smooth scrolling. So let's see which one scrolls best. In this case, you do have extremely smooth scrolling, even with a touch screen, I think. Yep, it works nicely. In Ocular, with a touch screen, sorry, again, I need to turn off this. With a touch screen, it currently doesn't work, but sorry, I need to click on Browse. It does work and it has super smooth uh, scrolling too. You can also zoom in and out, just like here. In here, it's slightly buggier, but that's worth noting. As far as the scroll bar goes, scrolling through, sorry, uh, touchpad, it is nowhere close. So there, this time, Evans is a clear winner of this one. Text highlighting, we tested that, but with multiple colors. So let's try that out. In here, we've got 
yellow and green out of the box and if we show more annotation tools and select the highlight text we can actually choose between a variety of colors and then even more so we've got all of the colors in here we've got highlight text but as far as i know there is no way to actually choose the color so i'm going to say that it's either not implemented or not nicely exposed because uh, if such feature was implemented, it should be here. So ocular does win multiple colors. Keyboard shortcuts for easily switching between view options, fit page, fit with, toggle, continuous, single page, facing pages. Let's try this. So Evans, do you have this? That's not an easy one to answer. Keyboard shortcuts, okay. So we've got a fit page and we've got fit with and automatic zoom and zoom in, zoom out, so that's nice. Correct, navigation, what's that? Let me try it. Nope, that's not what it was asking for. Okay, so there is a lot of shortcuts to actually move around, so that's useful. We need to change views though, and here we have it. It's toggle continuous scrolling and toggle dual page, so we have this. What's next? Uh, Ocular, can you do this? We do have shortcuts for zoom in, zoom out, and zoom to 100%. Not here though, and apparently not here either. Let's double check in settings just to be sure. Yep, we do not have it except for fit window to page, which is not the same thing. We can set it, but that's not the point. Evans does come with them out of the box and they're nicely exposed in this window, so Evans wins this one. Okay, so this one is tough, but let's see what we can get out of this. Tabs, as far as I know, neither implements tabbed uh, navigation. Yep. Multiple windows, both of them have it. Nice keyboard navigation we've just seen. Recently opened files, we have them here. Open recent. What about, what about here though? How do I open recent files? Okay, I see no way to actually see what are the recent files. I guess this might be exposed. Maybe through the shell, maybe if you right click somewhere in GNOME, but in here there's no such thing that I can see. So right now Ocular is in slight advantage. What else? Being able to load documents from URLs. Whoa, tough one, let's try it. So let's pick a PDF from the internet. Congratulations, your computer is equipped with PDF portable document format reader. Thank you. Okay, so we want to do like, this worked. Actually, this there's a bugged notification, but still, Ocular worked. I just gave the URL to Ocular and it auto-downloaded it, which is necessary, and uh, showed it. So nice, works out of the box. What about events? Works. Perfect, both of them flawlessly. Infinite scrolling, we do have that uh, enabled by default in both of them. Horizontal and vertical, okay, let's see if we have this. So let's see, it should be right to left document, I think. No, sorry, something else entirely, sorry. Ah, how do I do this? Maybe I cannot do this. Yeah, I don't think I can do like horizontal scrolling in events. What about here? So it is continuous, but can I do that horizontally? There is something similar, which is the overview, which seems to like throw all the pages together. Not quite. Oh, right to left. No, sorry. Again, it's another thing. Uh, overview columns. So it, it has three coms, columns only. W w w wait, open new files in tabs. Y you do have tabs and I didn't know that. Ocular as tabs? Ocular as tabs? I, I didn't know that. Uh, you learn something new every day. Oh, of KDE apparently because... Okay, so, sorry, sorry. Ocular does have tabs, I just, nobody told me. <laughs> that said, I might be blind, but I cannot find in either program the ability to have horizontal scrolling. However, tabs and recently opened files together make this one a win. I mean, uh, good zoom control, sorry, I forgot about that, but it's like the same, it works in the same way, so I mean, yeah. This one is a win for Ocular. Filling forms, that's true. So in theory, 
a PDF might have forms inside of it, uh, like inside of the PDF. Let's try if, uh, if we can find one as a test. See, this is what I'm talking about. There's this PDF and you can actually type in the PDF. So uh, let's try this one. Uh, now we know that we can just ocular the link. Let's try to write. Can we, ah, yes. This document has forms. Click on the button to interact with them. Show forms. Now we can actually interact with them. That's, uh, that's actually really nice. It works nicely out of the box. We can even like tick like this. It works. Perfect. We have got a com box which works as well. So 10 out of 10. I mean, doesn't follow the, I mean, it's a, it's inverted. It would look decent if I hadn't in, inverted the colors. So works. Evans, can you do that? Yes. Out of the box, nicely, even check boxes. <laughs> I think it's broken though. I mean, let's say that I speak and understand. Let's see, let's say that I speak Latin and that I also have a driving license at the same time. I, I just can't. It's either one. Okay. Favorite color, black. Nice, works. I'm going to give this a draw, even though, even though, to be fully honest, I do think that um, Ocular kind of wins here because not everything has PDF forms in them. Actually, most of the PDFs don't have PDF forms, even though they have normal forms. And PDF, uh, sorry, Ocular does have, I can do this, does have here, the ability to actually like write anything. So you could fill out forms and then sign them just using this annotation toolbar. But I feel like this is more of a draw since Evans does support uh, PDF forms. Herot, 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 I don't know how is that pronounced, sorry. Writes a good copy paste mechanism, I guess. <laughs> okay, so as far as copy pasting goes, let's turn off the night mode. Uh, in here looks uh, nice, works nicely. There is some benefit in ocular that are that is significant in my opinion, and that is it also allows you to select via area. So if I only want to select these columns, I can just do this, and then I copy to clipboard, and this allows me to copy paste just part the PDF, whereas in here you can't quite do that, you also select the axis. You can also do like table selection, which is, sorry, table selection, this is so cool though. One, two, three, four, five. Interesting, I, I never used this. But yeah, array selection also allows you to copy the part of the PDF you selected as an image to the clipboard, so you can actually copy paste part of the PDF as if it was an image. So I think this is a strong win for Ocular because copy pasting both images and text but using an area selection is something I've used a lot. However, this video is way too long already. Uh, most of the comments that I've left out were either repetition of what I've shown or stuff like being light, loading the document fast, uh, these things I cannot quite test, or also things like being simple. Uh, that's probably a win for events out of the box. However, I can just do this and honestly, now it's not so clear, like yes, more buttons, but it, it's not that hard to understand what they do, like browse, yellow highlighter, so it's hard to actually evaluate what is simplest or what is faster. So I'm not gonna attempt to do that. Right now, Ocular is winning and personally, I do prefer Ocular. Maybe it's a bit of a bias, you tell me in the comments. This was just uh, a, bit, a bit me comparing the two and also learning a lot of new stuff like about Ocular. <laughs> I didn't know it had tabs. I didn't know you could actually invert the colors. So I discovered something new and maybe you did too.